Hi, warm welcome to you. In the last video, we have seen multiple angles. In this video, we will see what about submultiple angles. So, what we have seen in the last video is we have seen 2a, 3s. These are nothing but called multiple angles, right? Now, what's the meaning of submultiple angles? Is a by 2, a by 3, a by 4, something like that. Okay. Now, when this a will become a by 2 when you divide wherever a is there you substitute a by 2 you will be getting it right so let's go ahead and do that okay so if i make this a as a by 2 this as a by 2. You remember earlier we have made b equal to a and we have applied the formula and we have got this formula. Now we are applying a by 2. 2 into a by 2 is what? a. So sin a is equal to instead of a I will get a by 2 that is nothing but 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2. So, we know the formula for sin a, we can write it as 2 sin a by 2 cos a by 2. Now, let us look here. First, we will try to do something here. I can see here cos 2a is 1 minus 2 sin square a. That means, I can write 2 sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a. Similarly, I can write 2 cos square a equal to 1 plus cos 2a. So, this gives me sin a is equal to square root of 1 minus cos 2a by 2. Similarly, this gives me cos a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 cos 2 cos square a equal to 1 plus cos 2a. So, that gives me cos square, a, cos square a equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2. When I go for cos a, I will get a square root. So, this is nothing but equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2. I hope this is clear with you. Now, based on this, we can go ahead. If I, can, if I change this 2a, this as a by 2, change a as a by 2, what I will get here? I will get sin a is equal to square root of 1 minus a by 2. Pardon me, that is a sin of a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus cos a by 2. Similarly, you will get cos of a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus cos a by 2. From this, you can also get tan a by 2 is equal to square root of 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a. This is the most important formula you have to remember. Sin a equal to square root of 1 minus cos 2a by 2 and cos a equal to square root of 1 plus cos 2a by 2. Now, if similar lines, if I take a as a by 2, what tan a will become? 2 into a by 2 tan a equal to 2 tan a by 2 by 1 minus tan square a by 2. That is about tan a. and this is about tan a by 2. So, these are the submultiple angles. Similarly, can you do it for what is sin? You know sin 3a, right? Now, what is sin a in terms of a by 3? Similarly, cos a. 
साइन थ्री ए इज थ्री साइन ए माइनस फोर साइन क्यूब ए सो साइन ए इक्वल टू थ्री साइन ए बाई थ्री माइनस फोर साइन क्यूब ए बाई थ्री सो यू कैन ट्राई दैट वन दिस इज अबाउट द सब मल्टीपल एंगल्स वेरी सिंपल इफ यू नो द मल्टीपल एंगल्स हाउ विल यू गेट सपोज यू नो टू ए हाउ विल यू गेट ए ओनली इफ यू डिवाइड बाई टू आर डिवाइड बाई फोर राइट सो वेर एवर यू हैव टू ए यू मेक इट एज ए ऑटोमेटिकली ए विल बिकम ए बाई टू Similarly, if you want a by two, make a as a by two. That's what we have done. So these two are important formulas: sin a equal to one minus sin a by two equal to square root of one minus cos a by two, and cos a by two equal to square root of one plus cos a by two. Now, what we have learned in multiple and submultiple angle submultiple angles is given a. we know how to find out 2a because i know 2 sin a cos a i know sin a then i know that's nothing but equal to sin 2a so given a you can find out 2a similarly given a you can find out a by 2 too how because you know that sin a by 2 Equal to square root of one minus cos a by two. Similarly, cos a by two is equal to square root of one plus cos a by two. Not only that, we also know cos two a here is equal to one minus two sine square a, which is also equal to two cos square a. Minus one. So, by multiple and submultiple angles, by multiple and submultiple angles, input is a. We know how to find out two a and a. That means a by two. That means from a we are able to find out the multiples and submultiples. We have both the formulas. So you practice this. then we will be ready for doing some problems in the next video so what i am saying is if i know sin a cos a i know what is the value of sin 2a cos 2a tan 2a similarly i know the value of a sin a cos a tan a i know what are the values of sin a by 2 cos a by 2 tan a by 2 all of them how if i know sin a if i know value of if i know value of a then i know sin a cos a Then my sine two a is nothing but equal to two sine a cos a, and cos two a is nothing but equal to one minus two sine square a, which is also equal to two cos square a minus one. Similarly, if I know a, I can find out a by two by sine a by two equal to square root of one minus cos a by two. When I know a, I know sine a and cos a. So you can see that what we have learned now is we know a degree. Let us say. Now you want to do that? I'll give you a simple example to try out. I have given you a equal to 45 degrees. Find out sine 90, cos 90, sine 22 and half, cos 22 and half, and Check the values. You know sine 90 equal to 1. You want to check that? Okay. So you know y equal to 45. You want to find out sine 90. 2 sine 45 cos 45. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 1 by 2. 2 into 1 by 2 is 1. Okay. Cos 90. You want cos 90? That is nothing but equal to 1 minus of 2 sine square y. 2 sine square 45. That is nothing but 1 minus 1 0. So what I what I request you is take a equal to 45. This is 2a term. This is a by 2 term. Find out these values and check whether you are getting them right or not. In the next video, we will do some problems using multiple and submultiple angles. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.